Oh boy. Hey babies. Hey babies. We we're starting. We're late. We're six minutes late. I got a cat in my lap, so I couldn't I couldn't click the thing. And Julia opened a beer, and it shot everywhere on her hands. I. You should see how full this beer is. I don't know. Can you see this? The liquid is. It's not going to do it. It's not going to. Maybe if I cover my face, will it do it? It's not going to do it. No. It's not. It's it's full. It's full. Okay. It's like spilling out. There. It's called value. Giving you value. I'd like to be a little a little closer. <laughs> You can't. Like You've olive. I'd like to be just a little. Oh, she's. Leaving. Oh, she left. She didn't like all the movement I was doing. Hi, everybody. The cameras needs to be rotated a bit, Julia. If you don't mind, I have to turn it when rotate it by the lens. <laughs> <laughs> so the way that you rotate it by its oh, strongest point, the we're, lens. We're in a mess. We're in a mess tonight. Hi, everyone. We are kind of matching tonight. We both have yeah. the black shirt. It's a little it's a little crop toppy. It's a little short. Yeah, mine's crop toppy. I'm wearing high waisted pants though. I'm wearing high waisted pants too. Boop. We're both wearing high waisted pants, but mine's light colored. Mine's dark colored. What do you think about this? <laughs> Wait. Perfectly in sync. <laughs> Drift compatible. <laughs> we will pilot the Big Mac to victory. Oh. And I'm wearing Julia's earrings. He sure is. And I'm wearing my earrings. Today's earrings brought to you by me. And I'm wearing my bracelet of which we own two, so we each own one technically. You did accidentally order two, yeah. We could be wearing matching bracelets right now. We could, but I'm not. Wow, you don't want to wear matching bracelets with me? I just don't feel like getting up. You asshole. Yeah. Welcome back to Returnal. We return to Returnal. Welcome to the McDonald's. Welcome to the McDonald's. Can I take your order? Would you like a Durble Curder Perner with Churs? <laughs> Would you like a uh -huh. McDonald's? It's been so long since I've been to McDonald's, and the last thing I ordered at a McDonald's, I think, was that spicy chicken wrap thing. It was really good. Nobody cares about the, the snack spicy wrap. chicken wraps. That's the, what it was. Nobody gives a shit about the snack wrap. And the last time I ordered that was in college. I don't know why I came out so aggressive against the snack wrap. I have no feelings about it. Yeah, what the hell? Truly, just sometimes... Sometimes you're on a stream and someone says something and you're like, I'm going to freaking destroy this for no reason. <laughs> That's uh, the mood. We've never done that before. We've never honest. done that no. before. No. Anyway. I feel like a lot of people like the snack wrap. It's one of those things that people always talk about. They're like, I miss the snack wrap. I mean, I ordered them quite a bit in college because FIT was right next to a McDonald's, which I think the McDonald's is, is still there. Probably. McDonald's never close. Um, we're back in Returnal. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at the YouTube comments just now, and everyone seems very hopeful that I'm going to play this again. And it's um, happening. It's, it's happening. Real. Ain't that exciting? Returnal real, not false, not clickbait. Wow. True, true bait. Um, I tried playing earlier to like click truth to warm up a little bit. I'm also going back to controller so that maybe I will whip around a little less. Uh, for people who do not enjoy how I play FPSs, which is fair and fine. This is a thref, thref PS. You're right. It is a thref PS. So it's different. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to we're going to see how it goes. I tried playing this earlier to try and warm up and I'm very tired today. So it did not go great, but I'm hoping to defeat Shrike or whatever his name was. Shrek. Snoke. Emperor Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> My swamp. You went into his swamp. 
get out of my swamp. Dork Stash said, Julia, please tell me how to beat Frank. You're about to learn how to beat it today. That's his name. Because Julia is going <laughs> to gonna get him on stream, on screen. I'm so bad at names, I don't even remember. <laughs> Professor Snoke. <laughs> For some reason, that got me. Professor Snoke. Professor Shrek. Donkey. God Emperor Professor Shroke. So we're going to jump back into it. Dr. Scrote. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Jacob. <laughs> Are we playing? Yeah. Oh, did I not? Hold on. I didn't do something of importance, which is make the game seeable. Some people might want to see the game. Mm, debatable. On this one. So I think we're going to make it. Oh, oh, God. Hi, Olive. I think a lot of people just listen anyway. Hi. I elbow I have to pretend Olive. like I'm crushing it at this game right now. Like, whoa, she's doing it. Oh, my. She's beating every boss at once. We're pressing all the buttons like whoa, in shows oh, where someone's playing a video it. game. Um, Ma'am. Hey, you want to switch cam and get going? Come here, Ms. Olive. I got a spot for your ass. Ma'am. And it's right here, baby. Just put that tail right by my nose. It's right here. Ooh, I'm a sleepy girl today. She wants to get you sneezing. Oh, she sure does. I also decided I'm going to uh, change my costume back to the original. Uh, I think um, I may have whoopsied on the... Frame rate? On the refresh rate. Okay. I, how many things can I possibly whoopsie on? <laughs> Can you all tab for me, please? Will this ruin the stream? Remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Okay. Okay. Now we need to get the other window back. The other window is back. Is the stream ruined? The stream doesn't look, no game sound. That's because we didn't gotta, turn it on. Got to unmute that. Okay, can we do it? Can we play Returnal? Okay, How's that's looking? looking good. That's looking good. We got game sound. We got video that isn't a slideshow. We got it all. Great. We're doing it. Why am I getting audio out of one ear? Oh, no, I'm getting it out of both. Just for some reason, all the bass is in the right. Eh, it's it's right. very possible that there's a... I have, like, shorts in each connection point of the audio setup. So it's, like, anywhere along the chain of chords, every chord has a short in it. And so it could be any connection point causing an issue at any time. All right. Um, I was watching a music video earlier today and uh -huh. the vocals were like super low and I was like they mixed this really weird But I could hear everything else perfectly. Uh -huh. I jiggled a cable and the vocals came up to normal <laughs> volume And I'm like this is not good. I need to fix this. We need to get you new cables. I need some new cables You know, we going? like own a company, right? So And I run that company basically we all run the company and the financials of it you I can do, just you get you the financials of it. I could just get you a cable. We're not a cable company, Julia. Um, one of the YouTube comments for the uh, last Returnal, for the uh, first Returnal video, said, "Let me get this straight. Julia's played how much of Returnal and didn't know about uh, the reload. The active um, reload. You are correct to name and shame me." <laughs> well, that's a very you yes thing to do. Julia doesn't like to engage with all the mechanics of a game. You are correct. There's usually always one important one that she'll just flat out refuse to do. Yeah. Um, for reasons that I don't even think she understands. None of us understand it, but it's the world we live in. Sometimes my brain just goes, eh, that's too much. It's a bridge too far. Let's not. But you've been hitting the reload. I saw you hitting the reload earlier. I've been doing it. Yeah. Now that I'm aware of it, aware, where? Aware of it? Where, Kermit? Um, it's kind of like one of our friends who we play Overwatch with sometimes. 
<laughs> he's been playing Overwatch in some form for like years with us. Yeah. You know, back from the Overwatch 1 days to the Overwatch 2 days. And he 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 plays Kiriko mostly. And he discovered like recently after playing hundreds of hours mm -hmm. that he could hold down the click button to spray out a bunch of her healing rather than individually clicking each talisman. And I'm like, how are you alive? Yeah, I told him to hold it down. And first of all, we should say he's a, a fantastic and he, he was already doing great. He was like topping the healing charts, didn't even know he could hold down the click. He did so well. He did so much healing and just didn't know he could do like a big heal. It's really funny. And then the last time we played with him, which was like a week ago, he was like, I just found out I can run up walls as Kiriko. And I'm like, you're learning like one mechanic per year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got to feel like you're, you know, going to easy mode. But Julie is like that to a lesser degree. Yeah. It's true. I feel like you choose the things you want to interact with and you only do those for a long time. And then eventually you'll fold in. Well, some you know of the what happens? Stuff. I mean, yes. You know what happens is that a game will present me with everything up front and I'm like, that's too many things. I want to like get good at these first things and then and then eventually I will learn these other things. Tentacle friends, you were just telling me about these. Yeah. They're not hostile. They are not hostile. They will not hurt you. But you will hurt them. Yes, you will crush the light. Because you, in order to boost your own adrenaline. Yeah, basically. Effed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Draz was saying people were roasting Overwatch because they keep giving all the Japanese characters wall climb. And it's like, do they just think Japanese people can wall climb? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like an inherent trait. Yeah. Of Japanese people, the wall climb ability. Every nationality has a passive ability, right? Uh, As Americans, our passive ability is ignorance. And to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is uh, what are some uh, Soldier Seventy Six quotes? Uh, you're going home in a box. <laughs> puts in you home in a box. All right, big boy's about to come out. Good for him. As a Canadian, I get free healing. That's a good joke. I wish. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, God. I thought I could sneak it. Blast him. No, I can't. Blast him. Shoot him. Send him home in a box. Send him home in a box. <laughs> There are other Americans in Overwatch. Oh, uh, freaking Cassidy. Our trait is that we just like to shoot and we think about nothing else. Pew, pew, big guns. All right, what are you? I don't want to spit more. Can't interact with that yet. Can't interact with this yet either. Okay. Disaster said, everyone keeps telling me I suck at Overwatch 2, but I literally started playing two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was like me, like the, the one time I tried to play League of Legends, like years ago, I went into like my first multiplayer online match and like somebody was like roasting me the entire time. And I'm like, bro, this is literally my first game ever. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, people will be mad at you no matter what in every game because they think they're the only ones playing the game correctly. Um, I tried doing competitive Overwatch, which I hate doing, but I was like, you know, I'm like, okay at the game. You know, maybe I could do it. And, uh, I had won my first two rounds and then on the as a healer and then my last round the people were mad at me that I didn't keep their Ryan who kept diving in to the other team uh, that I didn't keep him from dying 
And I was like, dog, I don't know what to do for you. I'm not going in to the whole squad. I'm just going to die. Yeah, it immediately goes from like fun to unfun in the blink of an eye. I had like two really good rounds where I had like phenomenal like healing amounts. And then on the last one, they were just like, you suck as healer, switch off, switch off. I was like, uh, I think actually you, you just suck. Oh God. This sucks. Bad position to be in. You can't heal stupid. <laughs> yeah, basically. I oh like God. That. The other thing that always makes me laugh is that, like, we're always playing, like, you know, unranked uh -huh. online. And then oh you'll get God. people who, like, they beat you. And then they're, like, super toxic about winning. Oh, yeah. And I think that they think I care about it as much as they do. Yeah. Because it just, like, makes me sad. <laughs> when they're, like, going off about, like, how they won and I'm, like... I wish I cared more. I'm really not giving you what you're looking for here. Yeah. It, I wish you had more going on in your life that this wasn't like the high point of your day. Well, someone was like super toxic in the Overwatch chat the other day and they were just like, I don't understand how you like, they said, imagine being so bad at this game. And I said, imagine getting upset and writing about it in chat about a game. I was like, I, I just imagine having the time or the energy. I can't imagine. It's the house again. Someone else is here. An astronaut, but that's impossible. Is it guiding me or following? It reminds me of the old photos my mother showed me. The type of suit she would have worn if not for the accident. But something from the Apollo era couldn't withstand this atmosphere. Interesting lore bit. Little bits of lore. Yeah, sometimes when you look at the... I talked about this last time, but sometimes when you look up here, you'll see an astronaut just watching you. And it looks exactly like the little figurine that you pick up. Yeah, it's a really good touch. One of my favorite things to type in the Overwatch chat when I when we lose goes back to something I said during a Dark Souls 3 stream, mm -hmm. which I say, like, we definitely would have won that if we had played better. Yes, it's very good. I've gotten lots of lots of Oops. other team lols out of that one. One of my classic bits is the astronaut figurine, but you got and don't got enough ooblets. He doesn't want to let you go. Yeah, I spent it on healing instead. Oh well. If I can make the other players have a have a laugh, then I, that's a victory to me. My favorite was uh, we were playing with some friends and we were getting annihilated basically every round. And it was like we were on a team of five friends, uh, which is the whole squad. And uh, our, our friend at some point just kept writing, big dogs win. <laughs> oh, yeah. what, what was it? What was Paul saying? He was doing some sort of big dogs bit. Yeah. Where we were just getting like absolutely stomped and he kept all cap typing about like, like let the big dogs run, like big dogs, yeah. <laughs> big dogs win it. I don't remember why he was doing it, but it was cracking me up. <laughs> Oh, it was so funny, because we just kept losing every time. Let's go, big dogs! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was good. I don't want to open that. Uh, let's open it. I have a thing for it. Might as well. People are referencing Mabim Bam in the chat, because they had a whole big dog thing. Oh, yeah. 2021 was 20 big dog run. Oh, okay. But I, Big Dog for me goes back further than that because I went to the University of Georgia and I there, it. there was a catchphrase for the like meal plan thing Okay. that was let the big dog eat. 
And so when you go to orientation, you've got like the head of like, you know, cafeteria services up there and he keeps going, let the big dog eat. And he's like yelling it up at the top of the room. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude, let the big dog eat. Every time I eat, I want to feel like a big dog. I think let the big dog eat should be the new let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> First you let him cook, then you let the big dog eat. What is my... What do I have on me? How do I... There we go. Converts collected... Oh, cool. Oh my god, fuck off. I hate the, the, the big, tall, green dude so much. The ones who look like Magic the Gathering cards. Well, imagine how they feel about you. That's true. Hi, Joy. It's Joy Cat time. Oh, it's always Joy Cat time for you. Sure is. Joy's life is staying as close to Jacob as possible. He does a good job. Just gonna let that go. Okay. I love that the controller's still making fucking noise. <laughs> the stream was partially late because I plugged up this PS5 controller and my computer immediately was like, oh, okay, you want to route literally all sound through the PS5 controller, right? Like instead of your speakers system that goes through the mixer and out to your headphones, you want to like just sort of pipe all that straight to the PS5 controller. And I'm like, damn, you nailed it, computer. That's exactly what I wanted. So I changed all the settings back to the mixer, started the stream, and immediately, the intro song started coming out of the PS5 controller, and I'm still not sure why. Ah! Oh, I didn't know you woke up! Watch out, it's the big dog. No, not the big dog! It's the big dog and he wants to eat. Chad is saying, let him eat. <laughs> we can't let him eat. It's bad for us. Oh my god. This big dog's gotta go hungry. Is that you making that lightning? Yeah. Very Snoke of you. Thank you. Very Emperor Scrote of you. And you're using a lightsaber? Oh god. I do not have a good weapon for this fight. It's okay, use your skills. You can do anything if you use your skills. <laughs> You're loop de loop in his ass. Yeah, well, <laughs> I want to get this guy. Oh, he's jumping. Okay. Got him. You took him to the damn rodeo. Oh, good. Another pistol. I'm having a great time with the pistols. But this one's worse. No, this one's better. Oh. I assumed it is the new one was on the right. Oh, it's because I picked it up really fast. Um, so the old one's on the right because it's on I the see. ground. It's all making sense to me now. Oh, good golly gee whiz. Listen, you're alive and that's what matters. Wow, profound in a way. Also, you literally can't die. You keep coming back to life eternally. That's true. Ads start in one minute. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, dang it. Do you want to run him now while you're in a safe spot? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still running? Because this is also a safe spot. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to run on their own if you don't run them. That's true. There's nothing you can do. You can't stop the tide of ads. All right. Let's run ads. See you in three. Are you ready to read some subs? I Wait, guess. it says ads start in 20. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's read some subs. I can't really see, but I got a cat in my lap. We got ads from, not ads. We got subs. We have ads too, That's but I'm true. not reading those out unless you pay me advertisers. Hear that? We got subs from Procrastocrafting, Sid is Not Vicious, Dogman Jack, Pergus Finn, Hellarctos, Squanto's Revenge, Redwood Seas, Flesh Papa, Golo is Tired, Cy Birdie, Serialondiel 13, Sunbart, Mike, Mike Fire, Alex the Opossum, Uzumami, Bullet Witch, Dork Stash, Bunarchist, Mora Forty, Lady Daria, Copic Crow, Shiny Torchic, Virio Eo, Throw Main 1001, Trans Dragon Lycantos, Avit, Augie Froggy, Faye Traveler, It's Spooky Kabuki, Fatima Len, Arthamancy, Meg Dorkable, Mix Morganic, Maximum Cowboy, Bear Amaya, Quickstab Cat, Sunny Pumpkin, Mini Stroney, The Bop City, Knuckle Soup, Inspector Sassy Pants, Dance a Daisy, Heath Cliffs a Pratt, Andromeda's Galaxy's Cat, Super Bedwards gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. General Jackson, Libra Heart, Resonant Shine, Leah Tortilla 98. Molly Molupsi Molupsi gave out five gifted subs. Small time cat crime. Tabitha get up. Your nightly ghost. Sad with egg. Chemical. Drakith. Lil Lil loves you. Lil Lil loves you. Hi, I'm Lily. <laughs> Heathcliff Pratt gifted a sub. Honkin Bazonkers. Hex Maniac Kale. Change my name to Russell Jacobs, Citrus Snick, Solo Azume, Grumfies, Glitchy Hostile, Hygienius69, Agon's D, Unbelievable, Mossy Stone Media, It's Loop Liches, The Mr. Crowley, Toxic Bucket, Slurra G, that's four days ago, we're too far, we're too far, thank you for stopping me. And we got more from Augie Froggy, Itty Bitty Cowboy, Max and Axum, Moo Gerald, Boy Howdy123, Curtis Stoffelis, Rush, Bun Arkist gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Bun Arkist. Dat Kotek, Tonka Tough, Badonka Donk. Anna plays video games. I require coffee, Mystic Dougal. They who is procrastinating, and then we're back to Sid is not vicious. Who we got, and we got some new ones from Electric Seas, and another one from Bun Arkist. Bun Arkist, thank you, thank you for all the gifts. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's Bun Arky up in here. <laughs> Hi, Joy. Are you? Why are you uh, sitting like this? Why are you such a uh, little a squat little demon? <laughs> such a little monster. You're a little beast. She's so cute, but also horrid. Cute, but horrid. A horrid little creature. And she's making me warm. Yeah, do you want me to open a window? <sighs> I'm okay for now, unless you're getting warm too. It is pretty warm in here. If you wanted to open a window, I wouldn't stop you. I couldn't stop you. It's true. I can open a window for you. For me? For you. Oh my goodness. Sandy. Oh, that window's open. This window's open. Oh. Uh, 
I'll open it a little bit more because it's open only a little bit. Let the cold in. <laughs> Blast us. Our apartment is either cold or blisteringly hot. Yeah. Okay, she's back. New York City. So you're going to beat Frike first try, right? Yeah. Okay. That's excellent news. Yeah. It's going to go perfectly. I'm going to make no mistakes. I'm not going to get hit once. I don't know why you would. You know all the moves. Mm-hmm. So you, you can dodge all the moves. Yeah. I haven't gotten hit so far. Well, I mean, you've gotten hit already because there's been like multiple enemies doing moves. That's true. You can't watch them all, right? Yeah, and this guy only shoots one bullet at a time. But he's just one guy. He can only do so much as one guy. I'm going to go to all of the rooms in hopes that I get some heals. Oh, this will work. Go into your special chamber. Hopefully a little bit of a better weapon. Go into this hole that was decidedly not made for you. Yeah. It was made for someone else and you're just using it. I go into the leg hole and I'm like, it's for me. I wish that you went into it and came out as like, Five Celines, like stacked in that shape, <laughs> like a big mech suit. Yeah. That would be pretty good. This is the wrong door. I didn't mean to come. I've been playing a lot of, uh, just thinking about online games and talking to people. What the heck's going on here? Oh, nothing, I guess. That's a, a shield. It makes it very hard to fight anyone because they heal. It's not a shield, it's a it's a healer. I was gonna say it's a bad shield, considering you just shot right through it and killed it. Yeah, this is a bad room. I'm very unhappy. Watch out, it's a green boy. Yeah, I hate the green boys. It's another green boy. It's a frenzied flame. Should have paid attention more. I ran literally right into that enemy. Listen, I'm going to say it. That did, that didn't go great. No. But, we, did but not. we've learned. I just wish I didn't have the pistol. But also, I need to wake up a little bit. <laughs> Listen, if if what's the phrase if hopes and wishes were dances and dishes? I we'd literally all, have no idea what you're talking about. We all have broken plates. What's the phrase? If, if thoughts and oh. prayers were... Isn't there a phrase that has that cadence? But makes sense. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> that, that was it. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. That's not the one I'm thinking of. If hopes and wishes were fishes, we'd all have fishes. I don't think that's it either. <laughs> I think it's if you give a mouse a cookie, he'll want some health care. And if you give him health care, he'll start having hopes and wishes. Yeah. And you can't have that. You need to crush the people. You need to crush the mice. Am, am I thinking of the ifs and buts were candies and nuts one? I think that might be what I'm thinking of. Wishes were dishes the big dog would eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That's Excellent. the phrase, I think. I think I was thinking of the, the if, ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. What are you saying? That's a phrase. What? It, it, it made sense because you were like, you know... Imagine if instead of saying, I wish I didn't have the pistol, uh -huh. you had said, if I didn't have the pistol, I would have won. 
uh-huh. then I could say if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas to you. It, it means that, you know, stop your complaining. Yeah, this this seems like a very southern Is it a phrase. southern thing? I've never heard it up here. But also... Sorry. Uh, I guess half my family's French. And then the other side is Irish, so, you know. All the phrases there are like... Uh, losing... Losing half your body to a disease, that's pretty good luck. Because at least you have half. Because at least you got half. The French phrases are all like, we will all die in new ways. Yeah, I really got like a double whammy of, what is the point? of cultures that revel in like being barely alive. Oh my god, I just missed twice! It's all. Where does the ifs and buts phrase come from? I'm seeing a lot of people from not the south who have not heard the phrase. I read it in a Pickles comic. What's a, what's a Pickles comic? Are you thinking of peanuts? Are you thinking of peanuts? <laughs> the fuck is pickles? Who's the pickles? Tommy pickles? Alright, well that was... Is pickles comic a thing? That was bad. I am from the south and I have heard this phrase. Heard it in Texas. <laughs> heard in Texas. <laughs> Texas reporting in. Alabama here. Heard it in Alabama. Reminds me of that TikTok that was going around of those girls from all those southern universities. <laughs> Someone typed in saying that on Wikipedia it said a Dallas Cowboys quarterback coined it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I must have yeah. heard it from my grandmother then because she's a huge Cowboys fan. Oh my god. Pickles is the wholesome boomer comic. Maybe that's why I haven't heard the of it. Those pickles. <laughs> it was about old people. Oh, I think I know what I think I know what pickles is now that you say that. I remember the comic about old people. It's from a nursery rhyme from the 17th century. What? So are you saying that the <laughs> Was the, so was the Dallas Cowboys from the 17th century? It? Was he from the 17th century? He could, he could have been. Oh, thank God. The original phrase was, if ifs and ands were pots and pans, where would be the tinker? Where's the tinker? <laughs> I don't know what that means at all. Um, I feel like I'm losing the thread. I have a scout log here. Sorry to interrupt the... Oh, that's fine. The sticks and stones, just, nuts and bolts. I'm just doing bits to fill time in between... Grapes you, and berries. ...you finding lore. Scout log, Atropos. This is my tenth return. There are four meter tall corpses littering the ground. Piled up, perhaps centuries ago. I can't tell if there was civil war or genocide or mass ritualistic suicide. Some of the bodies I find of myself have been wounded in a similar manner. I don't understand how that could be possible. Myriad eyes beholding and longing. Emergency conditions. Rains like pitch. We must leave for the wastes where our visions have promised. Refrain of wonder. My favorite Nightwish song, Refrain of Wonder. There's a Nightwish... Oh, let me explain. There's a Nightwish song called Dark Chest of Wonder. That's the end. Dark Chest of Wonder sounds like a message you would read in Dark Souls written on the ground. 
Yes. Dark chest of wonder ahead, and it would just be like a big old titty monster. <laughs> I gotta say, I think my completely impromptu phrase of if if hopes and wishes were dances and dishes, we'd all have broken plates. It it worked better than it could have for one that I made up yeah. completely while I was saying it. I just want to acknowledge, I want to give myself some acknowledgement for that. Don't. I think it's messed up that everything on this planet has infinite laser capability. Yeah. We've uh, hit a really unfortunate room, which is this um, enemy waves room. If the enemy waves, why don't you wave back? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh. Ew. What did he just throw at you? Uh, goo. It's disgusting. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. When one of those hits you, it makes me laugh every time. Why? Because it kind of just throws you? Because she truly gets, like, taken out. Yeah. It's the big dog, and he wants to eat. Yeah, and you're looking like a tasty morsel on a plate. I thought I fell into a hole. That would have been bad. Just wasn't a bottomless hole. Yeah, the bottomless hole would have been bad. More like a conversation pit. Hey, COVID's over. All right. Uh, I don't want a pistol. Don't do this to me. Give me something good, please. No, oh, that's a spit mop. <laughs> Give me this. If wishes were fishes, we'd all swim in riches. I've never heard that one. That one doesn't do it for me. It doesn't have the right cadence. All French phrases are like a life not spent um, fighting. You might as well be dead or something what like the heck? Like it's all it's like they're all so grim. I don't want to spend my life fighting. And then my mom's German and Irish, so, you know. It's all, none of it is. No, no one's got any messages of hope there. Okay. Oh. Right over here. Disturbed has a song where they say we're dropping plates on your ass, bitch. <laughs> what? They're right. What they are mean? disturbed. Are they at like one of those like sushi places where you eat the sushi off the person? <laughs> but they don't use plates usually, do they? Well, maybe they felt uncomfortable about it. Oh, okay, yeah. But wanted to sound like really hardcore and aggressive. Oh, God. Nice. Chop them. Get to the chopper. Oh, it's big boy. It's big boy season. It's big boy season. Oh, and I have a dude who's trying to slow me down. This run sucks. What was the name of the Nightwish song Julia referenced? Dark, Dark Chest, Chest of, of Wonders. Wonders. 
heard you. It makes the ground all sticky. I can't imagine doing that eating sushi off the person thing. <laughs> I'd be too like, how's your day? Yeah, I, I got like, I was gonna say I've got that thing where I see everyone as a person. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you animal. You absolute fucking What's monster. What's that thing called where you see everyone as a person even if they're in like a service position? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, oh the only God. ally? <laughs> oh, what I meant was like you were saying, so I would want to like talk to them. Yes. And I don't think... I think you mean you see everyone as a potential friend? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I would just feel weird, like, not acknowledging a person in the room. Yeah. But I don't think they would want me to talk to them. I, I don't think, think it would that's be awkward like, for everyone. That's, like, not part of their job at the moment. But then I'm just, like, in a room with all, with, like, all my friends and there's just, like, a naked person who no one is speaking to or talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. It is weird. I even feel weird when there's, like, performance art and the actor has, like, done this themselves and they, like, you know, you're not supposed to, like, you know, talk with them necessarily. Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go back because the boss room is right over there. I think I'm going to go back and buy the uh... oh, there's a room over there that I didn't do. And a room over here. The heck? Can I not get it? Oh. Oh, it's a... Uh, okay, yeah. Never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the uh, astronaut figure. Go get the astronaut figure. You got enough ooblets for it? It's over here, right? I believe so. You got the ooblets for it, bud. All right, little guy, you're coming with me. <laughs> All right. And then I can afford nothing else. What in the world? Unknown artifact. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the fractal nail. We actually saw this in a different room, so it's weird that it popped up like that. All right. I'm not really liking our loadout for this, but we can only work with what we got. I mean, listen, if you don't get hit, it doesn't matter how little damage you do. Yeah. You'll win. It'll just take longer. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just don't get hit. I'm waking up a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully we have a shot. Just go away. I was gonna do like a, a wake up, you know, song reference, but my brain couldn't decide which song about waking up it should go for. Wake me up before you go go or that the Evanescence. One, Evanescence, Rage Against the Machine song Wake Up. There's a Coheed and Cambria song called Wake Up. Wake me up when September ends. Wake me up when September ends. It just it couldn't get there. It couldn't it couldn't reach one in time. Wake up, grab a brush and put a little makeup. Mhm. Mm that one too. Chop Suey's the only option. That's a good one. 
<laughs> Chrissy, wake up. Chrissy, wake up. That's. <laughs> I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Did you ever see the musical versions of that? No. It was like a TikTok thing. Oh. When that episode of Stranger Things came out. Yeah. I knew it was from Stranger Things. Because that dude's performance as Eddie. Mm, excellent. Really perfect casting on Eddie. Yeah, he was great. I forgot about Imagine Dragons. Yeah, intentionally. <laughs> Damn. I'm living every day trying to forget about Imagine Dragons. <laughs> and I keep being reminded. Do you think Imagine Dragons is like the, the cold play of today? And that everyone just kind of shits on them, but they're kind of just fine. I mean, they're like really popular, ostensibly. Bad start. I also want to say if you like Imagine Dragons, that's completely fine. I'm just joking. I don't want to clown on anyone for enjoying things. Yeah. I like all sorts of things that people will listen to and go, what the fuck is this? little columns they put are so sinister. Uh -huh. If the walls were totally smooth, you'd have no problems. The walls in the maw are totally, totally tall. All right. Nice, clean phase, clean phase. Strike one, down. If anyone was legitimately asking me for tips on how to beat Frike, it's um, make good use of your dash. And also don't get hit by the giant laser like a dipshit. Interrupted his attack. Yeah, that was his big, uh, okay, one, two. Frank's and you're out, baby. Nice. And that's how you defeat Frank. <laughs> She's the freaking gamer. She said she was going to do it first try and she did it. <laughs> Hell yeah. We love to the see it. The first time I, I fought Shrike, it also took me three times. 
So that's nice. I get to keep that up. Good work, good work. <sighs> I think you have to focus on hitting him secondary. You have to like focus more on dodging him and just kind of hold down on the right trigger and just focus on dodging whatever he's doing. Swap Pina said it took me like nine hours. Oh, I'm sorry. It is a hard boss. Like this game is hard. For sure. But you're, you're a gamer. When you're a gamer, all things are possible as long as they're involved with gaming. Deposit the data cube. Yeah, all right. How'd you know that thing was gonna do something good with that cube? You know, oh, I got a durian. You know, Celine just loves <laughs> sticking everything and everything. Stagger power. Stagger power. All right, now we get to go to uh, World Two. Ba 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 ba. Let's -a go. Instead, Celine would be like, "Let's go." Let's a go. Atropos. Atropos. Let's I'm, a go. Let's go. We're going. Atropos, I've reached a kingdom of mushrooms. <laughs> what could it mean? I'm going to touch one. Well, that's the closest. I guess that is. Yeah. <laughs> I would that song love is such a banger. It's so good. I would love some healing. Can't go in there. I'll die. Some healing below me. Yeah. Will I risk it? I think I have to. There might be a biscuit involved. Usually, when there's risk involved, there's bisque involved. And when you risk it, you get a biscuit. And those two together could make a pretty nice meal. I remember saying this on a different stream, I think, but um, Remnant has made me really good at tackling one problem at a time. Do you mean Returnal? Did I say Remnant? That's the one That's you the always... One. We were trying to figure out what Julia always miscalls Returnal, and we're like, I don't remember what you say, but you always say it wrong. Yeah. It's Remnant. It is. It's just what naturally comes out of me when I talk about this game. I don't know why. Returnal is Remnant. And then what's the other one? V Rising is oh. Vampire Survivors. <laughs> yes, that's right. That one makes a lot of sense, though. It does. It does. I'm psyched for Remnant, too. Speaking of Remnant. Because we played all of Remnant. Except for the final boss. Which was um, stupid. Because I had made my whole build. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Are we about to see something? Yeah. I'll shut up. No, it's okay. For the moment. She just like says a bunch of things. Teleportation gate. Based on the coordinates of the broadcast signal, I'm on the other side of the planet. This next dude took me like three or four, right? Tries? Yeah. Definitely a few. Yeah. I don't remember how many exactly. All right. Um, yes, sorry, continue. She says some other things when you leave, but. Oops. Oh, it was just that in Remnant, um, the final boss, I had made a whole build around summons, like summoning mm -hmm. creatures. And it was like a dominant build for most of the game. And then the final boss, that build just like doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't have enough raw DPS to like win. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the American deserts. I'm in a sprawling desert. Beautiful. Detecting another strange energy from a mountain summit. Ascending towards destination. It's also like journey. Yeah, it is. So good. All right, 
we can't like get a lot of things yet. So we don't pick up what we can. Someone was asking about us playing Dark and Darker with Nathan. And then Draz was saying Nathan was playing Dark and Darker with his his other friends. Wow. Which I'm surprised about because we Me played too. we played Dark and Darker with Nathan and he really did not enjoy it. He was like, this is not for me. He was like, I'm done. It's like, this I'm game out. is frustrating. It doesn't make sense. And then we talked to him like two days later and he was like, I played it again with my friends. And we were like, what? I was like, are you enjoying, are you having fun? I don't know. <laughs> Scout log at <sighs> Beginning ascent of the mountain. I don't know which attempt this is. Despite knowing the hazards ahead, I'm having difficulty retrieving the technology. There are certain obstacles I don't look forward to re-experiencing. But I feel as though something at the top is summoning me. Oh, big cute boys. But we will probably play Dark and Darker on stream sometime. Yeah. Once it's like more out than it is. Because it's fun. We're bad at it, but it's fun. You can't play Dark and Darker and with like the mindset that you're going to win. And like hope to make any progress. <laughs> yeah. You kind of just have to go and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. People are talking about Celine's uh, Celine's booty. Yeah. She does have like a pretty juicy booty. Yeah, well, it's got like the good, um, like it's kind of like the climbing harness, That's which, true. Oh, which always gives it a little bit of a it bump. It does give it a little bit of lift. Yeah. And she, have you seen how fast she freaking runs? That's true. She's pretty fit. If you run that fast, you gotta be powering those legs with something. She's pretty fit in both the British sense and the American sense. I don't want to risk it. It's fine. Yeah, and she jumps like 30 feet in the air. Well, she's got a little jetpack. That's true, but I don't think, I think it's just for looks. I think the jump is all <laughs> It's booty. all in the booty. All in the booty. Speed is in the booty, that's right. That was a great first time chat. Or is Hinai? Hinal? Original. I got, I got it, I'm there. Original. I'm sorry that I crushed that cube guy too, uh, too quickly but we'll see a lot of them. They do some big attacks, so I try to kill them as quickly as possible. The Cuberts? Oh, you can see one guy in the back, actually. There's one. Yeah. They're Cuban. They're Mark Cuban. He's making a cheap way for Americans to get uh, the drugs they need to live um, online. No, they're just shaped like cubes. Oh. Mark Cuban's kind of shaped like a cube, too. He is kind of shaped like a cube. Okay. See that guy? He's a big T. Whoa, he sure is. The T is for tentacles. It sure is. This is the Sesame Street world. <laughs> where everything is like shapes and letters. Uh... Did I get this? I did not. Let me get that. That looked like a J. Let me get this. Oops. Our brother, the Exalted One, reported as inoperable, climbed to the throne at the mountaintop. Is its scythe strike down the creator slash destroyer? The pillars from deep below. We unlock more of that once we get more of those little little glyphs. I'm gonna try to just draw you over here because you will wreck me. I always love like in a, in video games when you see like an alien species and like their writings and they write everything like it's a metal album cover. It's like the sickest shit you've ever read. Yes. But it's like no species yes. all write like that. Sorry, I'm being attacked from the right as well. That's fine. I'm just talking to chat. Just explaining why. Like, if this were more yeah. realistic, you'd find some that were like, bro, did you see 
<laughs> Mark Kubert's laser the other day. Right, like it the graffiti so they found at Pompeii. Yeah, that shit was so cringe. Instead, they're all like, observe the herald. Yeah. Strike forth to the abyss. <laughs> We're all being attacked by the right here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Another yeah. Another metaphor in the game. Well. <laughs> Maybe they're all French. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. like rising pitch. What is the... Whoa! <laughs> you blasted his ass! <laughs> what is this one? What did he do? Oh, this one's also the same. I think I'm going to keep the one that I had. Cause I like rising pitch. Well, this one has a little bit more damage. No, I'm gonna keep this. Rising pitch is um, when it gets faster as it goes. So it's like when Freddie Mercury and under pressure goes like, ah! yeah, that was good. <clears throat> I don't think I hit. I quite hit the note, but you get the you get the idea. I th I think you got like. You didn't get all of it, but you got like a surprising amount of it considering you were trying to mimic Freddie Mercury. That's true. You know, dude's a legend. Hi, Olive. Okay. We got a two cat scenario. There's right. no room at the end. Uh, I don't want to pick up any of these things, I don't think. What is this? What is, where, is it up there? Oh, this. Another letter. Another letter. Okay. Why can't we give ourselves one more chance? Where the hell's the door? Behind me. The door's really weird because it's not a door. You're in a endless desert. But, you know, they're still marked as doors. Hmm. Ooh, they're the underground guys. Oh, no, they're not. I'm just stupid. They're just normal. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Normal fellas. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hit him with the ba -ba 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 -ba. Whoa, watch out! That's a big dog and he wants to eat. It's all right. And we can't let him. We can't. Not this day. All right. No, oh, one more, huh? Whoa! 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 I do like that they have like a coral pattern. I've never been close enough to them to see that before. Suffer damage when. Ugh. I don't want that. Okay. Pick that up. Give me this, please. Man, that song is so good. It's a good song. A classic. I think you and I had talked about this in our in our own time. But I don't remember your answer. What is your favorite Queen song? We did talk about it and I had a hard time answering. Cuz we were talking about also the difference between like what you think is the best Queen song and what is like your favorite because there's some songs that I think that are objectionably better, but I don't like as much. Well, we were saying that like, even though Bohemian Rhapsody is like played out by now. Yeah. If you look at it, like if you were hearing them all for the first time, mm -hmm. that's probably going to be one of like the objective best ones. Yeah. Just because it's wild. Like there's not a lot like it. Yeah. It's very unique. It does a lot of different styles. Don't Stop Me Now is maybe one of my favorites. I always have a good time with that one. But I also love Somebody to Love. Somebody Love's really good. God, you. I hate you. Armored fauna. Shell seems highly durable. And it's probably a good indicator that so many people in chat have different answers. 
You mean for like good songs. their quality as a band? No, for their favorite Queen song. Oh yeah. No, I mean like a good like Yes, an indicator of their quality as a band, yes. Yeah. The amount of hits they had. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought the roof was gonna take care of some of that. Considerable defense, but dispatched. Nice, humble brag. All right, I want to find the corpse first. There it is. Found it. You have some red on you. Are you going to be bad? I miss Fred Fredberger. Yeah, Fred can we Fredberger? see whose name it is this time? No, you see, you see it on the corpse, so we'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Though. That's what I'm saying. God though. damn it. Oh, the corpse is evil. Yeah, that's why I was checking. Some of them are infected. Does this look infected? There's some more album talk for you. Ow! Yow. Took one to the gut. Sure did. Does this look infected by Sum 41? Was one of the first albums that I bought with my own money. Oh. There was that and Linkin Park Meteora were the two albums that Ooh. I bought simultaneously with my own money. Meteora is really good. Uh, this person's name is Jess. That's Jess. And they're online. They're playing right now. They're just Jess and they're playing right now. It's no Fred Fredberger. Fred Fredberger? Fred Fredberger. Fred Fredberger. Is the only iteration of Fred Fredberger the Foster's character? I don't know. I don't know nothing. First album I ever bought was the Corpse Bride movie soundtrack. Wow. You must be much younger than me, or you didn't buy any albums for a very long time. What's everyone's first album? First album I bought was Amish Paradise. I feel like Weird Al is a lot of people's. Oh, it was Billy and Mandy? It was Fred Fredberger? Billy and Mandy, yeah. Whoops, I thought it was um, Foster's. Whoops. Um, I don't remember what my first album was, honestly. The Eminem Show? I'm seeing a few people saying Punk and Drublick by NoFX. Rob Zombie? Mmm! Bare Naked Ladies? Rob Zombie might actually be my first album I bought with my own money. Shrek 2 album? The Shrek soundtrack, kind of a banger, though. It has, uh, I Need a Hero. Shrek it does, too, yeah, it does. Spoke of their single Nine Inch Nails Closer? But Damn. Do, prepare me for... do you mean the downward spiral? I barely managed to dispatch the sentience that attacked me. I've never encountered such hostility and madness. But that writing, it spoke of these severed brethren. I don't know enough to understand yet, but what conceivable force could have caused any intelligent life to become like this? Severed brethren. Another cool phrase. Yep. This game's got a lot of them. A lot of good first albums in chat. All right. Is your hand okay, buddy? Get ready. Oh wait, is this the room with the guy? Am I too? No, oh, no, I think this is the room with the guy. The guy? Yeah. Who's the guy? <gasps> it's your favorite. It's my favorite weapon. The tachyomatic carbine. No, the, the hollow point. The hollow point. All right. Let's see if we'll survive.
I forgot he goes behind me. Dude, just hit you with a damn stick. Olive. Olive, there's nowhere to go. Let me try to save you. Let me try to fix you. I dispatched the sentries. This must be the suffered. I got him. Good job, Julia. Thanks. Thanks for moving I, Olive. I got Olive <laughs> safely to her position. Olive is engaged dumbass mode. She lives her whole life in dumbass mode. It's she has no true. other mode. <laughs> She's going full dickweed. No, that's just joy. Olive can't be dickweed because she has no malice. She has no negative intention. No. Joy does things negative on purpose. Oh knowing that it's bad. But she doesn't care. That's true. I think that's the only stuff in this room. Yeah. Okay, we continue. Welcome to Laser Hell. Yeah, there's a lot of lasers. Yeah. This seems like weird infrastructure for an alien planet to have. Yes. Oh, a scout log. I know why they became severed. Divine punishment for failing ascension. Ascension. No sooner has the word escaped my lips than a vast image of the transcendent watcher in the deep below consumes my mind. I have begun having visions of where I have yet to go. They lead me continually downwards from Olympus and into myself. I alone am worthy. I only just noticed the shape of the... That is not me. The hole. Yeah. That hole is made for you. Unfortunately. An even better Hollow Seeker. I love the Hollow Seeker. I do, I do. If you're seeking oh, hollows, you should check Dark Souls. <laughs> if you're seeking hollows, you should uh, seek Hollow Knight. That's, that's the one for you, Buster. Uh, okay. Our connection to our brethren was destroyed. We descended into the abyss, at last complete. Upon return, our brethren feared us. You know how it is. It happens. Yeah. You know when you descend into the abyss and then on your return, your brethren fear you? Yeah. Oh. What are you gonna do? She's going upside down. She's going upside down. She's going upside down. She's good. She's a good cat. Hope everyone's still enjoying Returnal. Okay. Get him! People are responding positively. Good. To both the game and your gaming prowess. I'm glad. I should have just gone for it. You shouldn't get to be a turret and have a shield. I'll say it. Yeah, it's messed up. That's messed up. It's OP. It's too OP. Shields should be for close up fighters only. Yeah. An even better Hollow Seeker! Oh god. I think I know which one it is. Ooh, I'm like covered in red clay. That's a cool detail. 
Like the dust is covering me. Yeah, that is cool. Never noticed that. Oh, I just realized you didn't put on any one of your cool suits. Yeah, I, I was saying in the beginning that I changed back to this outfit because I'm worried that if a cutscene happens and like shows her face that it'll you won't be... be able to see. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Very fair. What am I hearing? Oh, scout log. I'm relatively confident the severed would have been incapable of sending out the white shadow broadcast. Their fractured nature does not display any proof of higher cerebral functions. The other sentience must still be alive at its source beyond the wall. But without a proper means of communication, will they view me as hostile as well? I haven't come here to destroy. You sure are destroying a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, For ah, someone who hasn't come here to destroy. I haven't come here to destroy. I'm just killing everyone and everything that I, I need. see. <laughs> nope. That's an upgrade. Celine's voice actress does do a wonderful job. She's so good. She puts I a lot feel of feeling like, Yeah, into she it. really carries the, the sort of emotional heft of the game. Mm-hmm. They're going ham on that Xenoglyph. They sure are. They're doing that dark and darker every time you interact with anything. Wrapping themselves and the yeah. <laughs> a kind of symbolic communication. Okay, and then there's one more. What These is pillars okay. affect the severed so profoundly? That's like a big spinal column. There's a lot of big spines in this world. I haven't been pointing them out, but you've definitely seen them around. If you're paying attention, eagle eyed viewers if will you, notice. If you look carefully, you'll see giant spines. I'm attempting to communicate with the giant spines. I'm sensing a hostile presence on I, this desert. I didn't come here to destroy, but if that's what they expect, I will say it a lot. <laughs> Alan, why are you going around? This is what she does. She goes around. I don't, oh have, a God, I don't have a place for you. There's that. no room. Where, what are you intending to do? You know, Olive do? has very basic thoughts where she's like, I want in lap, oop, lap occupied. I want in lap. Olive, I can't accommodate you, sweetie. Mommy's being a gamer right now. <laughs> this is what happens when you live with gamers. This guy's got to chill. Oh, God. Whoa! Don't hit people. No hitting. No! It's fine. You had the astronaut. I wanted to use him in a different spot. That's all right. At least you're still alive. That's true. The... Ra the uh... The ads are starting in one minute. Oh my god. If you'd like to... to take pause. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll pause here. Oh, Joy Cat. She's looking, she's looking. Three minutes of ads. Three minutes of ads. Starting now. Three minutes of ads. Three minutes of ads.
What if we spent the whole ad break chanting three minutes of ads? Three minutes of ads. Oh, she thinks that the stream's over <sighs> because we took off her headphones. The stream is not over, Joy. I just needed to rest my ears. I needed to free my ears. My eyes feel so bruised today. I needed to dangle around my Julia sword earrings. It feels powerful, right? Feels good. They're fun. They dangle and clank around. There's Can just a you? there's a certain joy to dangly earrings. Joy is right here. Yep, there's her tail. Joy's tail revealed. <laughs> tail reveal live on stream. Dangle and clank was a good game. <laughs> you're doing good you're making good progress this run yeah i'm genuinely very surprised because when i played earlier it was not going super well so well look at you now take a look at you now i've not played strange horticulture but i've seen it and i thought about playing it so have i but I have not played it. I've heard very good things though. You enjoy the Monster Hunter streams we did with Ansta and Doig Swift recently? Yeah, me too. Those are so much fun. It's um, really funny that the only time we can play is at 9.30 a.m. I'm like my slipping time. Jacob toast and coffee. Yeah. Ansta keeps being like, Oh, we should all do like a squad stream and we can all stream from our own perspective. And I'm like, that sounds really fun. Also, I don't want to be perceived at 9.30 a.m. <laughs> yeah. I like don't have the juice. The juice is not a part of me at that hour. But we'll probably do that at some point, though. <laughs> we'll probably do a squad stream. Why is she like this? Oh, there she goes. You want me to make you some room, buddy? There you go. There you go. Yeah. What's my Monster Hunter weapons tier list? Hammer best. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you do always play hammer. You always try a different weapon. And then when I look back at Monster Hunter, like an hour later, you're back at hammer. I'm doing hunting horn this time. And I'm really liking hunting horn because it's close to hammer, but also buffs and heals people. But the hammer is just something about the hammer. It hits so hard. The hits are so big. It feels good to use. What was that noise? That sound? Cause it wasn't olive. There he goes. There goes my hero. Thank you for the compliments on my glasses. I guess we'll go back to the game. <laughs> Jacob singing in the other room. Genesis of Misery. I have not heard of it. Nathan trying to break in. Nathan's going to be here tomorrow, so... He went in two days in a row. Why is? I don't know what it was. <laughs> okay. My game was not unpausing and I was very worried. We're back in the game. Back in the game. Get in the oh, zone. The auto zone. Get in the zone. Auto auto zone. zone. A new cube. Love cubes. Those cubes are good. The cubes that shoot at you. Not so good. Not so good. Just goes to show you. You never know what kind of cube you're dealing with until it shoots you. I didn't have to shoot that thing that many times, but, you know. Sometimes it's fun. What you got for me? Worse. Spit maw blast. In every way. You don't want to use the spit maw. No. Welcome to the spit maw. I would use it because I like the name. I like this big statue. 
looking at nothing. It's just good environments in this game. Oh, for sure. How did I only just notice the shape? It's good once you uh, once you know the story. What you got for me? No. Mm no. Nah. Nah. You don't want either one of those things? Well, actually, the repair integrity is good. Why not, right? May as well. I usually Stick try to keep it there. for buying the astronaut or buying a, a health, like an oh, integrity repair. Sense. I guess you know better than I do. Toes? Two toes! Huh. Polydactyl. It's pronounced pterodactyl. Or is it didactyl? I think it's didactyl. It's pronounced dido. <laughs> I won't go. I can't sleep. I can't breathe until you're resting here with me. And I won't blow. You won't blow? But I can't pee. Joy's I can't leaving. see. <laughs> What's happening with Dido? <laughs> Damn, Dido, you got some issues. <laughs> Every time I hear that song, I think about the scene from Love Actually, where the, where Rick Grimes pulls his collar up right on the beat. Oh, right. So good. That's very funny. Yeah. What a stupid movie. It is really stupid. It's just so dumb. And now, Jake, so Jacob and I have like themed movie viewing months sometimes. And right now we're on, um, we're on rom-com month because you know, it's Valentine's Day. It's Febby. It's Febby. And um, now that I've seen like good rom-coms that I've missed, it's kind of like inexcusable that Love Actually was as popular as it was. It makes sense. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you had watched it at the time it came out, you would you would have been enamored with it. Yeah. In the moment. If you watch it now, it's absolutely insane. Oh. Um straight and then left. I liked it when I watched it when I was 15. That's it exactly, Abby. That's fair. There's you a lot of things I've seen. to watch it when you were 15. There's a lot of things I've seen when I was 15 and I thought were great. And then I was an adult and I was like, oh, it was good for the time. Just pretend you're 15. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a big T. Ooh, that's a big T. Don't. How about we don't do that? How about we use our words? I'm not here to destroy everything. <laughs> butter, 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 butter. Oh god. Okay. Might as well. Come up here. Somebody mentioned while you were sleeping. We have watched that one. That's a fun one. I love while you were sleeping. We also just watched uh, Two Weeks Notice. Two Weeks Notice, Another also very fun. Sandra Bullock classic. Yep. Until you get jump scared by fucking Donald Trump in the middle of the movie. Yeah. The only redeeming part about that is that they don't present him as like a good guy. No, but they do present him. And I don't want to be presented with him at any I, time. I agree. Her footsteps may have taken her if she'd had the opportunity. Is that why I'm here? to go where she couldn't. Seeing that house again feels as though she's still judging me. Notting Hill and Sleepless in Seattle are both on our list. I have not seen Notting Hill. I've seen Notting Hill, but it was a really long time ago. Along with um, Four Weddings and a Funeral, which is also on our list. 
February is almost over. We got two days to watch all these movies. Because oh, then after shit. that, we can't watch rom coms. Oh, no. Oh, God. I have to do Patreon rewards. Yep. I have to remind everyone tomorrow when oh, everyone's over. Oh, no. And everyone has to do their commissions. Oh, I, I did my commission. Yes. And it was very good. Thank I to, you. I have to say, you did a. a you always do a good job, but Shit. particularly good job, <laughs> Jacob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have reminded everyone sooner. I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have changed anything if you had. That's, yeah, that's true. I would have done the exact same thing. Everyone on our team, with the exception of me, loves to, to wait until the last minute, which is fine. However you guys want to work. We get it done, baby. As long as it gets done. We just get it done in a more stressful and frantic way. <laughs> For me. Than is necessary. I think I'm just gonna buy the large. Sulfium. Uh, yes. What would the title of our rom com movie be? I think it would be. Just Best Friends? It would be called Our Jason and Julie? <laughs> dot, 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 question mark. Yeah. Yeah, the tagline would be, they're just good friends. Oh, time to go in the leg hole. Enter the leg hole. Drawn together is right there. I mean, drawn together would be the real title. Mm -hmm. If it were actually a movie. Two chairs, two beers. <laughs> <laughs> Not descriptive at all of our... Although, you know, it actually is pretty descriptive because we do often sit here in two chairs with two beers. Twice a week we do. Twice a week we do. Performing this stream. I can't go up there now. Sorry about the camera whip, everyone. I'm trying to do less of that this stream, which is why I have the controller. What about the camera, Nay Nay? You don't have to say. Julia, I second. said, what about the camera, <laughs> Nay Nay? Uh huh. Chat, what about the camera, Nay Nay? To that, I say, Nay Nay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boomy, boomy. <laughs> Yes! The more ellipses you give me, the stronger I get. <laughs> Where do I get the good joke emote? <laughs> <laughs> the good joke emote is from Droppy. We should probably make some more emotes for this stream, huh? Yeah. But what would they be? A chair and a beer. I can't remember. Do, do you keep the keys in each run? Can someone who's played Returnal tell me? My family is starving. Can someone who's played Returnal help me with my finances? <laughs> a bi -bi -bi emote would be good a yam emote no they disappear when you die okay thank you presidential alert emote that would be a tough one presidential is too long of a word 200 I don't know how many I don't have that many that's stupid every time I see the Enzo emote from the Droppy stream, yeah, it brings me so much joy. There's something. Oh, this is cool. Cool visual. Mm -hmm. I think she has some things to say as well. Sorry to cut you off. That's fine. Or maybe she doesn't. This is kind of what I was talking about about um, tackling your problems one at a time. Is that you get a lot of rooms like this. It's the laser room, and it's actually easy. It's just overwhelming to look at. 
Come on. Oh, God. It's been a while since I fought you. Juice. You juiced. I juiced. I would love to stop getting hit by every single move this dude's doing. Oop. All right. There we go. Anyway, I was gonna say. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off with the game. No, this, <laughs> the game is the important thing. I should be cut off anytime the game has something to do or say. Um. It brings me so much joy that we're a team of entirely artists mm -hmm. and people are always asking us for more emotes. And instead of <laughs> using the skills that we all have to give them more emotes, we give them nothing and then occasionally shit out the most dog ass emote anyone has ever seen based on nothing. And yeah. for some reason, I just find it's like the funniest thing to me. It cracks me up. And so when I see the Enzo emote, it just reminds me that like this is what we've given you, and I don't know why I don't know why we're like this. Sometimes I think about you know that we should like go for a streamy or something because we could you know <laughs> we have a chance, and then you know I think about it a little more and I'm like, we don't deserve a streamy. Maybe someone else deserves this. I think it's just because our stream is like basically for fun. That's true. We don't like need to do the Twitch stream. Yeah. If we didn't want to. It's like a nice like supplementary income, of course. Yeah. But it's not like necessary. And so if the stream were like the primary thing we did. Yeah. It would be, I would like lose my whole mind making it as good as possible. But because it's not, I just want it to be stupid and kind of bad. Yeah. Sometimes I just think that Drawfee deserves a little more recognition for, you know, the contributions it's made to, you know, art on YouTube. Um, you Where's know, just our a little trophy? bit. I, you know, I don't even want a trophy. Just, you know. Where's our... Just someone saying like, hey good, hey, good job. I don't know what you get for a streamy. Where's our streamy? Where's our YouTube? -y? But also we're like a not very ambitious team. We like to make what we make and we don't really want more, more than that. Yeah. We're anti-capitalist. Yeah, basically. I like that about us. We want to basically live comfortably doing the thing that we like doing and make a product that people enjoy interacting with. And that's it. Don't want to kill myself over this. <laughs> well. Work myself into an early grave. That's that's OK, but that's going to be me. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> And also my problem. Wait a second, we're married. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I don't have life insurance. What the hell is this? Phantom limb. Huh. What is this? Metal Gear Solid 5? The Phantom Pain? They always get you in the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> the fine print for me is whatever the second thought is you have about something. Wait, let's get this room here. Let's heal up. Inert reclaimer. Sometimes she has a little dream when she does this, so we'll see. Inert reclaimer would be a beautiful name for a child. <laughs> you like that little flesh orb? That's a cool orb. I know that orb. You know that orb. That's the orb from the beginning. You've seen that orb. 
That's your orb from the beginning? From the beginning of the game. Mm. You see that orb. Mm. We talked about the orb. You shot it. And it went blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're right. I did shoot the orb. Oh, God. Inert Reclaimer is a good Gundam name. You're so right. Absolutely. Holy God. Hey, watch out. You just you just surprised me. But everything's okay. Wow, nice You're try. doing it, dude. <laughs> You're doing it. Good try, buddy. To be fair, I was also doing the same thing. Oh my Whoa. god. One more turret up there, but it has a shield. Hey, it's Joy! <laughs> She's rubbing her face on the microphone. I know, sweetie. I know. Oh, she wants to do a little face sniff. Oh. Sorry. Actually, I don't want you in my lap. Go somewhere. If Go to she, Jacob. If she wants to be in your lap, there's literally nothing you can do about it. Like all of the other day when she... Uh, stood between my monitor Come and here. me and just uh, slowly pushed her away. She like pushed me back to like make room. Like I wasn't understanding. Yeah. I wasn't understanding what she was requesting. I'm really surprised that this um, run has lasted as long as it has. Yeah, you've been doing great. I think we'll get to the boss like this. If we have to go a little long, that's okay. That's I guess okay we did start me. a little late. We did start a little late. Where? Where's your corpse? Where'd you go? It's probably a good sign that I don't see like a massive glowing thing. Don't they like go to their corpse if you? Yeah, but I like to look at it before so that I know if it's going to be a fight or not. Did you go back? OK, I literally don't know. Let's just we'll risk it. Oh, nice slice playing Sekiro over here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, God. I thought she was doing an elbow drop. Oh, no. A do oh, no, a bobo. A bobo. Not a dobo, a bobo. I don't want to avenge you, a bobo. I'm sorry. Maybe their last name is Adobo. A bobo, a dobo. A bobo, a dobo. That'd be fun. Isn't a bobo the name of that dude from Battletoads? Battletoads no idea. Double Dragon for the Sega Genesis. Oh, Lord. Where are all my Battletoads Double Dragon heads at? We got someone watching for the first time. It's 5 a.m. where they live. Good golly. But they've managed to turn turn us on. No, not no. turn us on. Mm -mm. Well, they haven't done that. They haven't done that. But you have managed to turn on the stream and watch it. Yeah. And that's got to be worth something. Ain't that nice. <laughs> I want the thing. He's in the River City series. Is that true? A Bobo is? He's a double dragon character, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. How do I open that thing? No, oh, all right. Bubble blowing booba, you also woke up at 5 a.m. this morning because of your cats? They'll do that. This is why we keep them out of the room at night. It yeah. at least makes it harder for them to wake us up. Until Joy decides that she really wants in, and then she'll break a mug. She's a jerk. Mm, next. He shows up in the River City Girls games, too? Damn, a Bobo's everywhere. Good for him. I'm glad his career didn't end with Battletoads Double Dragon. <laughs> 
this room sucks. Go for the shins. I can slash two. That was well handled. Thank you. I woke up this morning at uh, 6 a.m. because I had, uh, I keep having, every night for the past like couple of weeks, I've been having stress dreams and like nightmares. And I just, it's just making me not sleep well. We gotta get Julia to be less stressed. Yeah. I think we might have to lobotomize her. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the only solution. I think it's the only solution. have a lot to do all the time. We got to get Julia less to do all the time. I have a lot to do all the time and then just a lot of stuff that happens to me that I need to fix. <laughs> we got to get less stuff that happens to Julia that she needs to fix. If we do all of these things, We'll be gold. We'll be gold. Oh, uh, hey, we're at the boss. You gonna win? No. What? This guy's hard. Just win. The energy signature is right here. The vibes are off. <laughs> Can you just win? Yeah, I mean, I'll try. Do my darndest. I mean, just like when. Okay. I don't know. We saw Hecatoncharis. <laughs> the creator destroyer, a creator we did not understand, countless feasts on its mind, suffer for eternity. Yeah. Cool lighting. All right. Who's ready to see the second boss? Me! I've already seen it. It's true, you have. What do I have as my consumable shield and minor healing? Okay. Better than no healing. That's true. You know what? I might as well just pop it. Hecaton Charis are the hundred handed monsters from Greek mythology. That's cool. That's, uh, oh, good, do I feel like downgrading to a pistol? There he is. He's all wired up. He's all plugged wired into up. the internet. <laughs> really looks like a um Airborne World of Warcraft. What is that? Yeah, well, he looks like the dude from Diablo. Oh, yeah. The angel dude from Diablo. Tyrael? Yeah, that's what it is. I like how that move looks. Mm -hmm. The big spear. All right, phase one down. Easy peasy.
some more. My hands are sweating. First time I've gotten hit by that move. changes his distance at some point. It kind of messes up my timing. Here. Two phases down. Gonna whoosh and whoosh. We gotta do this thing first. Yeah, this thing has evolved. Right, he pulls out the big sword. See the moves. No, I have a revive. But not a good one. But not a good a one. A bad revive. Yeah. Come on, man. You were so <laughs> close. I feel like you got to not dash over those floor waves. Uh, yeah. They're like sequencing made you land on the next one if you dashed. No, it's because of the direction that I dashed in was stupid. I always like go with the thing where I'm supposed to like, I don't know, maybe you're right. I was feeling like if you just jump it, you'll. Yeah, you it's because he dash. will follow up with like an attack too. So I sometimes dash to like get away with it or get away from it. All right, That's well, fair. anyway. I'm not the one playing. These are just my little my little twisted observations. I mean, it's good. I'll try it. Um, there's like no pickup, but bull health, right? Pick up a bull health. Pick up a bull health. <sighs> Oh, right. That's why I didn't pick it up. All right. Let's try it again. This time we have no items to help us. But that's okay. So win or lose, this is going to be it. Win or lose, this will be it, yeah. Where am I going? It's here, right? I don't know. 
I can't read this damn map. That seems right. It's the same, right? I think so. If it is, then it's probably just best to walk. <laughs> but we did well for the first attempt on a stream. Yeah, you did great. You like didn't get hit for the majority of the fight. Then you got hit a lot. I sure <laughs> did, yeah. He throws a lot at you. Yeah, well, I guess that's the challenge of the third phase, I guess, huh? It's an interesting dance. If you're gonna have lasers, uh -huh. right, barring the path forward, uh -huh. just make it so that you can't get past them at all. Yeah, why like yeah, move why, them back like, and forth? Yeah, why like back and forth? Just make them, put them all parallel and don't leave enough space in between them. That's a good question. What were they thinking? <laughs> if I were the design of this place, it Celine, wouldn't happen. She like this. wouldn't even get to me if I'm the boss. I got lasers everywhere on every door. And they just kill you when you touch them. Where am I? <laughs> uh, is it this? What the hell am I doing? No, it's behind me. I don't know what you're doing. I genuinely don't remember how to get back to the boss room from here. Why not? Have you seen this shit? There's a this teleporter. Isn't it. It's not the teleporter. <laughs> the translocator. Is it this one? This is the true boss. Is it this one? Is it this room? Someone tell me what I'm doing. You should know. I should know, but I don't know. It's probably that one. That. What? It's probably that one you were looking at. This one in the corner? Yeah, it's like right there. You could just, that's the one. That's definitely the one. No doubt about it. Are you supposed to go up to that big middle thing? No. That's the thing that has the story where she like makes all the dust come together and form a story or whatever. You go in, you pick up a weapon and then you leave. I do not want to do the gold door. That's a challenge room. I really hate getting lost in a video game. Yeah. Getting lost and having to search for something small are the two things I hate the most in a video game. Whenever it happens, I start feeling like sweaty and hot and upset. I have like a physical reaction. Here we go. Don't worry, Jacob, I found it. Well, I'm not playing, so it's fine. I think that's called frustration. No, it's different, Kaz. It's like a, it's some sort of physical response. <laughs> it's not like a mental response. I mean, it is obviously that too, but it's like different than any other thing. Like, I, I think it's like akin to claustrophobia. He does get really irritated when he has to, every time I'm like, can you help me find this thing in this game? And you have to like look in a room. Jacob's like, he gives it about 20 seconds of a try and then goes, I don't know. 
and then leaves. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. That's because I start feeling like like nauseous. Yeah. Oh my god, you did this in a crazy way. It's all right. It was all right. <laughs> we survived. The fruit bat you get the same way. I'm glad I'm not alone. All right, we have one healing going into this fight. You can do it. Frustration also produces physical responses. I know, but I get frustrated all the time, like right now, reading your message. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And I don't feel like I want to barf right now. It's like a specific feeling that only happens in certain circumstances. I apologize for burning you. Roast him and toast him. I, I didn't mean to roast you and toast you. I'm sorry. <laughs> It just aligned too perfectly with what I was saying. It was too good of a of an opportunity I for a bit. I couldn't resist it. I have nothing against you. We don't even know you. I appreciate you being here and watching. <laughs> it's all good. It was funny. Okay, good. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to it's hard to to judge how people are going to react to those things. So. Yeah, I always worry a little bit. I don't want anyone to actually be like to take you seriously. Because well, also about in the it. whole chat is like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, like roasted a little bit of a dog pile. Yeah, if you were like a certain type of person that might be like really upsetting for you. Yeah, which I don't want to happen. Could it be a trauma response? I have trauma responses. It does kind of seem like it, but he just gets like more irritated than panicky or anything. I think I really think it's related to claustrophobia. It feels like the same as when I feel claustrophobic. Yeah, that's true. You do have the same reaction. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw you come down already. sound coming out of the controller is so funny. One. Clean as a whistle.
couldn't see. It's okay, you didn't get hit. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for being a friend. This dude is not a friend. Yep. I was taking out his sword. Ah. See, I did your your jumps. Yeah, I did see. It was a good. It was a good idea. I'm glad it worked, or else I would have looked real foolish. is. Oh my god. I'm being stupid now. Yeah! Nice! Hell yeah! Ooh. Second try! She's too good. She's too good at the game. Ugh. Wasn't even close, honestly. Yeah, that one went well. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Found more xenotype technology on another corpse. Again, Time to stick it on me. Potential for suit augmentation. Don't know what it is, but I will stick it on me. Licking it now. <laughs> Taking a bite. Safe to repurpose. Mm -hmm. She wiggled one of the little arms and was like, it's safe. It's safe. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? System integration complete. We'll perform a function test. Now this one's fun. Y'all ready to go? Wee! I love going wee. Wee! Hell yeah! We love to go wee. Function is cross vast distances. Suit status remains uncompromised. Come here, mm -hmm. Celine. Mm -hmm. Right here, if you will. All right, I have a cube. I've had a cube this whole time. Silver lattice. That's pretty nice. Nice lattice, dude. Hey, nice lattice. All right, ready, everyone? Wee! I didn't know where I was going to land, so I, I did Again. a little dash. Wee! <laughs> You're like uh, Clara. Again. <laughs> Again. Whee! You're gonna get to the next spot? Yeah, why not? Let's show it. I don't know what time it is. Uh oh. 
Sorry, Jacob. Well, that's okay. We had to beat the boss at, at the rate we were going. We had to beat the boss. So this is the third world. It's very yellow. The teleportation gateway in the desert has taken me into the citadel, beyond the forest's massive wall. It's the citadel. It's the citadel. Just your classic citadel. What? Very cool. Covered in wires. Mm -hmm. It's nearly within reach. Scans show that the broadcast originates from the tower inside a citadel-like complex. Yes, thank you. You can save now on runs, right? Mm hmm Oh my god. You can suspend the run. What an actual delight. I just want to show this next room and then I'll, I'll end it, I promise. Just because there's a new kind of enemy here. Oh. Treasure? Tracior? No, never. Spit maw! I spit on the spit maw. Damn it. You gotta use the spit maw sometime. This dude's a chunky monkey. Uh oh, uh oh. He's a big robot. This place is full of robots. Encountered hostile machines. Fully automated. See? There's like these weird robots versus the the dudes we've been seeing. Like cowboys versus aliens. Just like cowboys versus aliens, really. They are aliens. Starring Daniel Craig. I like this big boy. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't like to fight those big boys, but I do like the big boys. And see, there's a, there's a Selene here. So a Selene has made it this far, at least. This is it. The journey is almost over. The origin of White Shadow is right here. Soon I'll know why and, and bury these horrible memories in the past. So much... Desolation. Is this their city? It's only inhabited by corpses, broken machines. I'm heading towards the broadcast tower now. Very cool. Yeah, um, but I will call it here since it's, you know, 11, 11, 20. This time. It's time. Time to call it. Yeah. There's a little secret like passageway back here. You get some help. Uh, all right, we're gonna suspend the cycle and then we'll we'll pick it up on Sunday, I guess. If people are still into it, we'll keep playing. If you're having fun, you should keep going. I do. I mean, I love this game. That's what so. I say. Once I finish Elden Ring, I'm gonna be doing a lot of a uh, lot of one-off streams for a while. Yeah. For sure, so. Oh, yeah, people are saying, hell yeah. Do you want to switch to webcam so we can... Yeah. Say goodbye to the people? Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We have Droppy Stream tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. The gang will all be here in our abode. It's true, yeah. Pending any... Pending anyone getting sick or, yeah. or you know, anything happening. What? Uh, and then, oh my goodness, she's so cute. And then Wednesday we'll be back with Elden Ring. We're, we're getting, we're getting there on Elden Ring. Yeah. We have, I don't know exactly how many more streams it'll be, but we're definitely getting close. So that'll be exciting to finally finish. Yeah. And then uh, that's it, right? Nothing else? I believe so. Uh, if you're a Droffy Patreon uh, supporter of higher tiers, those rewards are going out on Friday. I mean, not Friday, Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, if you have sent in commissions and I've hopefully received them, then you will also be getting those hopefully Friday, uh, Tuesday. <laughs> not Friday, Julia. Tuesday. <laughs> Everything. T uh, Friday. Uh, 
yeah, tomorrow Drawfee, Wednesday we'll be back Elden Ring, Sunday we'll be back with this probably. Yeah. And, and then the Sunday it. after that's my birthday, so. Woo! So who knows? If we'll be streaming or. If we'll be streaming. Or what we'll be doing. Maybe we'll be streaming, I don't know. Uh, we'll see y'all later. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.